Hey everybody, we're back for another episode of our 300B build, and I was just going to go over some of the wiring I've done since the last time we met. Um, we've got, we've done all this B plus power supply stuff, and we tested it, so now I've wired up the B plus over to these two reservoir caps. Got the grounds, individual grounds that come over here with these green wires to our star ground. Also have the RC, which is the resistor capacitor decoupling network for the input tubes installed on this 5-pin terminal strip that we bolted down right here to one of the decorative rings that goes around the 300B tube. And... It has its ground comes over here on this green wire to the star ground as well off the center pin. So we got resistor, resistor, and two caps. We got the potentiometers mounted. Got a couple of plastic washers to space them out so they fit right on the top side. We've got the holes drilled here for the cathode resistors, grommets for where the wires go through. And again, we're putting them on the top side to keep the heat out from underneath the chassis. We're going to be running the plate wires to the 300B for the transformer here and here. We got the speaker jacks installed and wired up to the output transformers. The ground of the speaker jacks has individual wires. You do not want to daisy chain these. You want to run individual wires from each speaker ground, ran them over and around and over to our star ground. So we've got a bunch of the wiring here done that's going to power up these tubes. And really all we've got left is to wire up these potentiometers that are going to go across the heaters on the 300B and then the center of this potentiometer is going to be grounded through the cathode resistor with a cap bypassing it that I'm going to install eh, we're probably going to install it somewhere around in here and then the 5 volt regulators voltage regulators sanded this down a little bit we're going to mount these little uh, heat sinks we're going to go like right here and here. And again, they're going to be the little decorative rings on the top side. The bolt that holds them down is going to hold the regulator in place. So it looks like we're not going to have any like visible screws or bolts on the top side of the amp, which is going to really make it look nice. So then we have to run the rectified It'll be probably 7 volts that's going to come around here and across to the regulators. And then they'll go to the heaters and the potentiometers. And then this will be grounded to the cathode resistor and coupling cap, or bypass cap, excuse me. And then we'll have grounds coming over here to our star ground for that. This is going to be a pretty short video today, I think. I do want to show you what I did with the heater wiring for the input tube. So let me flip the amp up. In an earlier video, I showed you that we have this 6.3 volt filament transformer bolted to the side, and we pulled them out to this five terminal strip over here on the side. And then this is 18 gauge solid core copper wire that's been twisted with a drill that's tucked over in the corner of the amp in the upper corner along this edge and it's been tacked down with some contact cement in a couple of places to, just to make sure it stays in place. The other thing that you can see at this angle is I've taken advantage of being able to use this solid 18 gauge copper wire to take advantage of the three-dimensional space inside the amplifier and you can space the wires apart from each other and then have these. I'm going to tuck that up. 
you can have these up in the air so the, all the ground wires are down here against the chassis but then the power wires are floating in the air above them about an inch and that's the nice thing about using solid core wire for doing the wiring in these amps is you can put it where you want it and it stays there the last thing I want to show you is I want to zoom in on this heater wiring and show you how the detail over here in this corner this is one of the input tube sockets and here's the heater wiring that comes that's tucked in along this corner of the amplifier but you can see how I intentionally have these two heater pins seven and eight oriented towards the front of the amplifier and then I bend them over at 90 degrees so that they're real close to where this wiring is going to be tucked into this corner so that it's only about a half an inch away from the corner and that way these like this is one of the input pins here and there's the grid of the first stage and so we want to make sure that they are not anywhere near this 6.3 volt heater wiring because that would get hum in the amplifier the last thing I want to show you is a little teaser of what the amplifier is going to look like. I think this is really going to look nice. We still have to punch the hole here for the milliamp meter and mount the switch here that will switch between the tube, two tubes for the meter. And then I'm still trying to decide which volume control I want to use. I've got this one that's a little larger matches the gold on the other tube rings and then I have this other slightly smaller one that I actually kinda like the way it looks better it's angular like the little rings that go around the tubes but anyway if you wanna let me know in the comments which one you think looks better and I'm really excited. I think we're getting close. I hope to have this thing wired up and powered up by this weekend and get it on the scope and start looking at what this thing's going to do. So anyway, I hope you're enjoying my videos. If you are, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and we'll be back soon for more 300B fun. See y'all soon.